It's got to always be on my toes, man. Oh, you know? I, I see that. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Eminem cameos. Me and Snoop, we dipping again. I kept my ear to the streets. Signed Eminem. He's triple platinum doing 50 a week still. For this list, we'll be looking at music videos, movies, and TV shows that were crashed by the legendary Marshall Eminem Mathers. These brief but memorable appearances stood out for their popularity with fans and general showcase of the hip-hop icon's range of talent. Want to share your favorite on-screen sighting of the one and only Slim Shady? Please stand up in the comments below. Number 10. Got the Life – Korn Got the Life is a highlight of Korn's music catalog, with one of the band's most popular videos. At the end of the video, when the band crashes a party in the woods, one Marshall Mathers can be spotted in the crowd. Though this background extra would go on to have much more prominent music video cameos, this appearance predates the champion battle rapper's breakout with the Slim Shady LP. Certainly, Korn's Got the Life video is already a classic on its own. But the hard to see party goer has become an essential Easter egg for Eminem fans. Number 9. Throw It Away Slaughterhouse The short lived hip hop supergroup Slaughterhouse enjoyed much support from established rappers, including executive producer Eminem. One of his most memorable contributions was with the music video for Throw It Away. After a band of mass thieves raid a mafia warehouse and kidnap a mob boss, the leader of the heist removes his pig mask to reveal a shocking cameo. The video is filled with exciting crime thrills and twists, but Eminem's big reveal is the perfect payoff. Sure, this so-called mastermind does throw away the ransom with a sledgehammer in the end, But one of the most surprising Eminem appearances of the last decade was quite the grab for Slaughterhouse. Number 8. Break Stuff – Limp Biscuit. At the turn of the 2000s, Limp Biscuit's Break Stuff was the anthem for new metal fans fed up with the daily grind. It's just one of those days where you don't want to wake up. Everything is everybody sucks. The fittingly raucous music video features a number of cameos of celebrities rocking out, but in a matter of three seconds, Eminem steals the show by mouthing the song's iconically cranky chorus and gesturing at the camera. What truly makes his appearance a fan favorite, of course, is the preceding shot of Eminem's then four-year-old daughter, Haley Jade, being held up by Limp Bizkit frontman Fred Durst. Who would have expected the video to have such a family-friendly moment? Now a social media influencer, Haley has apparently been owning the camera from a young age. Are you a Nikki fan? What? Am I a Nikki fan? Pull up in the Sri Lanka. What? Like father, like daughter, no doubt. Number 7. All in the Family – BMF As the star's drama BMF chronicles one family's rise in Detroit's criminal underworld in the 1980s, some familiar faces are bound to turn up. Sooner or later, we're all going up beyond Earth to be with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So you better get your life right now because tomorrow they will might be too late. Notorious teenage drug dealer Richard Wurst Jr. or White Boy Rick stands out in the first season's seventh episode for an almost unrecognizable face. The episode's director, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, cast longtime friend and collaborator Eminem to play this fellow Detroit legend. The 48-year-old rapper obviously had to be drastically made up to pass for the much younger Wersh. What up, though? What's up, Meech? What the f is that? It's White Boy Rick. Jackson was disappointed when news of the stunt casting was reported before the episode aired. But those five seconds of screen time are still a treat for attentive Eminem and Detroit enthusiasts, including white boy Rick himself. If anybody could play me, you know, I, I'm glad it's him, a, a, a homeboy, so to speak, you know, a Detroit legend. So I'm happy in that sense. Number six, forgot about Lorne, Pete Davidson. 
In his last digital short as a Saturday Night Live cast member, Pete Davidson starred in a tribute to producer Lorne Michaels. Hey, Pete, what's up? Nothing, I'm just, uh, I'm just watching Lorne. He looks a little sad, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Forgot About Lorne is a parody of Forgot About Dre, a classic Dr. Dre track featuring Eminem. Davidson performed the featured verse himself, but one person apparently didn't find it very amusing. The video ends with Eminem cutting off Davidson to express his annoyance with SNL. What are you doing, man? Oh! Yo, what's up, dude? It's another parody. It's like another tribute or something. Yeah, yeah, it's like the third one. Yeah, I would just stop. After Davidson spoofed Stan and Without Me, the rapper finally shows his appreciation to Lorne, or lack thereof. Unfortunately, Forgot About Lorne was cut from SNL's season 47 finale, but the video can be enjoyed online as a fun moment of self-awareness for Eminem, and a fittingly awkward send-off for Pete Davidson. Number 5. Crank Yankers Behind their puppet facade, celebrity guests on Crank Yankers work hard to keep a straight face when making anonymous crank phone calls. What I need is someone to just stay there and keep an eye on it. I understand that. Let's take a step what back I and know, let's, let's, think be, let's, let's just think before we speak here. A noted fan of the show, Eminem never breaks during a bizarre call to a tattoo parlor. The owner doesn't know what to make of the typically edgy rapper's mild-mannered request to have his name inked on his 10-year-old daughter's arm. I want to get a tattoo for my daughter. I've got one on my arm of her, and she wants to get one of me on her arm. No matter how disturbing the conversation gets, the tattoo artist plays along. Thankfully, Eminem is a caring enough parent to not actually force this on his kids. It's not that she's scared. I can, you know, I can, I can bring in a Barney video or something. We can show it to her and give her a lollipop. She'll be fine. But you wouldn't know it from this especially hilarious and unusually straight call. Who could say no to a father with such a sweet tone and terrifying request? Number four, the wash. The 2001 stoner comedy The Wash was a mildly successful movie vehicle for Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. I'm his owner around. Well, damn, what I do? Must have got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning, huh? Look, I'm just trying to find out if the owner's here. What you want with him? Came to inquire about the job open. But one of its most memorable parts is courtesy of Eminem. Playing Chris, a disgruntled ex-employee of the car wash where Dre and Snoop work, he pops up throughout the movie to make threatening phone calls to his old boss before leading the film's climax with an insane rampage. Good morning, Mr. Washington. Yeah, how's your day going? Good. Though Eminem's name doesn't appear in the credits, only he could pull off such brash hysterics throughout the running gag. No, oh, Chris, cause I can't let you smoke my homeboy like that, man. Now see, this is how the co-workers end up getting popped. My beef ain't with you, D. The Wash is not considered a classic by any means. Still, fans of Eminem consider one of his first appearances on film to be one of his wildest. Number 3. Lose Yourself – Entourage Entourage season 7 finale Lose Yourself may give away the surprise with its title. After a nasty breakup, Vincent Chase does indeed lose himself in booze and cocaine before crashing a party hosted by Eminem. Vincent Chase. Okay. I'm doing a movie with Pete Berg, and once upon a time he said we should meet. Okay. And here we are meeting. Nice to meet you. When Vince causes a scene, the host arrives to de-escalate the situation. This uncharacteristically cool-headed moment for the rapper doesn't last long. Oh, wow, what are you two mainstream now to fight your own fights, Marshall? Eminem kicking, or rather, punching the belligerent Vince out of his party led to the movie star getting arrested for drug possession. This made for one of the most consequential celebrity cameos on Entourage, and a fan favorite. The incident may have been the shock Vince needed to get his act together, but he should have known better than to trash talk Slim Shady. I've been sober for 90 days. When I first agreed to come here three months ago, I thought, Jesus, how am I going to survive? No cell phones, no emails, no friends. And then I realized this was exactly what I needed. Number two, Funny People. Judd Apatow's dramedy Funny People was full of major cameos to demonstrate that the burdens of celebrity are no laughing matter. That's when you know you're not doing well. <sighs> Oh boy, it's quiet in here. During a party, Eminem goes so far as to say death is preferable to a life without privacy. 
An improvised monologue this prickly and riotlessly candid could only come from one of the great edgy freestylists. I don't think you should have took that medicine. Why not? I don't know, personally, I think you should have just let yourself die. Honestly, man, what, what are you gonna do now? Make another bullshit movie? Less expected is Eminem's reaction to comedian Seth Rogen and Ray Romano trying to get a photo of the rapper. This bizarre crossover is considered a highlight in Funny People, as well as one of the most unexpected and playfully self-aware Eminem appearances in any movie. What? <laughs> Ray Romano's bothering him? Who? Ray, Ray, who? Ray Romano, the guy from Everybody Loves Raymond? It turns out Marshall is a funnier person than anyone realized, and that Romano is a less lovable one. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Interview before the CIA tasks the talk show Skylark Tonight with gathering intel on North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un, Dave Skylark's gotcha journalism skills are displayed in a revealing interview with Eminem. Tonight, we are joined by 13-time Grammy winner, Oscar-winning songwriter, Detroit's own Eminem. The rapper has historically been criticized for his homophobic lyrics, despite his apparent support for gay rights. But in this fictional response to the controversy surrounding his music, he makes a totally unexpected confession. Let's just back it up a moment. You just said that you were gay? Um, and I'm just curious what you meant by that exactly. I mean, I'm gay. Although Eminem is not gay in real life, as far as we know, this self-aware joke is a humbling answer to true scandal. Eminem cleaning out his closet again may not promote his sensitivity to the LGBT community after all, but it's widely considered as outrageous and memorable as any of the hip-hop legend's cameos on screen. Eminem's gay on our show! Eminem's gay on our show! Oh my god! Number two! Number two! Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.